In this video, we are going to go over how to create policies in kiosk mode. So on your landing page inside your Knox Manage portal, on the left-hand side, we're going to start with kiosk mode. We're going to click Add. And this is where you can do one of two things. You can do a multi-app kiosk. So if you need to have more than one application on there, you can customize the landing page of it. You can have all your different apps that you need in there, or you can do a single app to where there's only one app on the screen. In this video, we're going to do the multi-app kiosk. We're going to press OK. We will label it what we would like it to be. You can add a wallpaper if you like. You can also change around the grid. So what I mean by the grid, we have four across and four down. If I were to change this to go to nine across and nine down, you'll see down here that it has changed. We are going to expand the advanced settings. And there's a few things that I would like to point out here. We can change the logo size, or the icon size, I should say. We can change the text of the device. So if it wants to be in a shadow form or we want to change the color, we can do all sorts of kinds of things. We can turn the shadow on, turn the shadow off. We're going to leave it as black for now. And we're going to press OK. Our point, you can change that as well. And then on the screen lock. Screen lock is forcing a pin code to be on there, and you get to dictate what that pin code would be. You can do a four digit pin, or you can do six to 10 digit alphanumeric password. We can allow rearranging. So if you want the end user to be able to move the applications where, you know, around on the home screen, we can, or we dictate where they're going to be. Other things that you get to do is settings. This settings is whenever you're in kiosk mode and you're on your device and the bottom left hand corner, you're going to see a little eye. When you click that, you get settings. You can toggle on what settings that they have access to. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, display device maintenance would then, would then be there. What you would then do is you would then pull out from the left-hand side here and start adding in how you want to push the apps. We're going to put a clock app on here. You can have it in all kinds of different formats. You can have it in this one, and you can change the text color. Same thing on this one, this one, and then we can have the circle. And you can do 24-hour format or 12-hour format. I'm going to leave mine in the 12 hour format. We now have this and I can put this anywhere I would like. I can put it right here. Then I can put my dialer say right here. And my contacts right here. Any apps that you push out, you can start grabbing them from the left hand panel and start putting them over. This is what it would look like in landscape. If I were to click portrait, this is what it would look like in portrait. Once that we have this the way that we'd like, we are going to hit save. When we save this, it's going to then build our kiosk template. Once that has been complete, you now have what's called version numbers. Every time that we get a different version, so if we needed to add another app to this, we're going to hit sig test, scroll down and modify, grab whatever we want over here on the left hand side I'm going to grab calendar and now I'm going to put in my calendar just like with the clock you get to play around with the different formats that you like to use I'm just going to stick with the first one now I have it here now if I really want to edit it and make it bigger I can do say five by five it says it's not big enough let's do four by four same thing three by three and then it gets bigger If you need to delete an app off of the kiosk mode, you'd come to the one that we want and you hit the trash can. Now it's no longer there. I am going to add the calendar back. I'm going to come down to save. It's going to ask us, do we want to save it? It then gives us a new version number. So version number that we were at was 1.0.0. .0. We now are going to be doing 1.0.1. .1. In the comments, we you would put in 
added then the name of the app so we add it calendar and then we press OK this is then going to rebuild the kiosk mode once that it is done we would then click apply if you do not have any devices inside of here just yet and you're building this for the first time and you press OK, you're going to get this error here. It says there's no devices to apply. That is fine. We are building the, this kiosk as we're pushing out the profile. But kiosk is now created for us. We are now going to go to profile. Profile is our policy. What we're going to do is we're going to add a policy. We're going to do Android Enterprise, and it automatically comes with Samsung Knox enrolled. We don't do Android Legacy, iOS, or Windows. We are going to save and set policy. Everything that we're going to be doing is going to be on the left-hand side where it says device controls. We go one at a time. Do we allow camera? Yes, we're going to allow camera. If we leave it blank with just a dash, we're allowing the device to only do what it came stock and what setting is available. Camera, it, we still have to say yes, we want it because we want the icon to populate. Do we want to allow screen capture? Come down here and do we want to allow changing the wallpaper? Do we want to allow SD card? Screen brightness, we would allow always on display and then do we want to allow a backup or disallow a backup and what we mean by that is backing up to a Google account we would then come to the top and then we've already done system so we do interface next do we want to allow Wi-Fi Tethering. Tethering is going to be the hotspot capability. So if you're wanting to turn the hotspot off, you would say disallow. Security piece. If you want to do any kind of screen timeout or maximum timeout, you can go ahead and dictate that here. I am going to come down to the kiosk mode since that's what we were talking about earlier. What we're going to do here is we're going to do kiosk mode settings and we're going to drop this down and we're going to do multi app. If we had a single app when we created it, we'd create that, use that one. We click add and SIG test is already there. Then we go to utility settings. We do want to allow this because we want to be able to power the device on or off. If you don't want them to be able to click the button on the screen to say recent apps, you can disallow it. But the one that I want to pay attention to the most is the home button. The home button needs to be changed to allow. If you were to change it and it's disallowed and you want to come back in here and do it, you'd have to completely de delete the profile and start over. Now that we have that, we would then go to applications. Do we allow, we always want to allow ins installation of an app just because if we're pushing out the application, we do want to allow it to install automatically. Uninstalling the app is do we want the end user to be able to do that? As we scroll down through here a little bit further, you got a few more things you get to play around with. Location. Location I do want to, to bring to everybody's attention here is this says disable on. I do want to bring over, if you hover over the little question mark, it'll explain what this is. It says disable on sets the GPS off and does not allow the user to turn it on. We don't want to disable it on because technically it's actually disabling it to be off. Device reporting, we do want it to be turned on. And the lowest you can go is every 30 minutes. Now, the more often that you do location, the more often that it will actually um, bring the battery. So about an hour I find to be the perfect. And then high accuracy mode is to use. Factory data pr protection. Factory reset protection here is where you can actually get it to always go to your specific Google account. You click allow and you'll follow the on-screen prompts. You'd put your Gmail in here. 
and then the Google ID that you'd create while following steps one through four. Once you do that, you're going to go down to the Samsung Knox Android Enterprise. Allow powering off. Allow over the air. As you see, you'll continue through. We'll come to kiosk just to make sure that there's anything that we want to add in. So the edge screen or allow multi-window, you would put that in there as well. You would then click save and assign. Press OK. And we're going to assign it to our organization of Simple Innovations Group. And then assign and apply. It gives you the breakdown of what you just created. And you'll press OK. That has now been pushed out. This is now the default policy. You can have multiple policies in here, and we'll cover that in a later video.